Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will draw a bulldog. We begin by sketching a circle for the head because they have it pretty rounded. Then I draw a middle line which is where the eyes will be. And then the axis for the front and back legs which are like a horseshoe shaped. And we start sketching the detail like the rounded little eyes the ears, his muscular front legs, as well as the back ones. And I correct this part because it should go a little bit higher. And we continue refining shapes. So the sequences start with a very basic structure, which in this case simply was a circle for the head and the axis of the front and back legs. From that we can construct the general shape and then we can work on the detail or the smaller shapes, which is what I am doing right now, including the muscles and some of the bones. While we do this, we can make any corrections as needed, like this one, as this part of the leg should have been higher. In other words, your first mark doesn't need to be perfect. I think it is more important that it looks loose and not stiff. And if it is not perfect, it doesn't matter, because while you refine the detail, you can do any corrections needed. We widen the hind leg and do the chest a little bit higher. Now we clean up the drawing, erasing all the lines that we don't need anymore. And also I liked in some others, which I still want to correct. Like the top of the head that is flat from this angle, and the ears, which are a little bit bigger than what I have made them. We begin to draw the hanging skin and the muscle, which is pretty square. The nostrils and the ears, which fold over and hang a little bit more than before. Like so. To draw the eyes, I switch to a softer leg, because they go darker. But to give it more life, we leave a white reflection. That will help giving it personality. Very good. The other eye. And using the same lead, we do some other dark shadows. Then we switch to a medium lead to make some shades that are not as dark. I think by now you know that I love the 203, this mechanical pencil that has the three leads that I use for drawing. If you would like one, you are still on time because there are about two weeks left to the launch campaign. I will leave the link from where you can order a 203 below the video. Let's darken the mouth and the folds of the skin. We do the shadows gradiently so that they look rounded. And we switch to a harder lead for the lighter shadows. As I was telling you, it is better to start with a basic structure, then loosely do the general shapes before beginning doing the detail. A common mistake that beginners do is trying to get every part perfect from the beginning. Whether they start from a leg or from the head, every part they make, they strive to make it perfect. No, no, no. <laughs> when you begin sketching, do it more freely. Later come back to do the corrections in the detail. Additionally, if you work for hours making all the detail of a part to then find out that it is in the wrong place or out of proportion, you would have to erase it completely and you would have wasted all that time. That is why it is better to do the detail only after you have done the general sketch and you are happy with it. We draw the shadow. The bulldog is one of the dogs with more personality and therefore nicer to draw and they are great family dogs. I love them. The last details and it's ready. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share it to your friends and subscribe to find our tips. You know where to follow me, the links are below. And I will see you on Tuesday.